Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Eduardo with The Real Hyundai Guys at Kelowna Hyundai. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time here to show you how to properly set up your 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe XL Limited Edition. So a lot of these controls are going to be redundant for uh, a lot of the other trim lines. Some of them uh, won't be here. Uh, just wanted to go over some uh, some quick features here with yourselves. Uh, we'll start over here with this instrument cluster right here. This is your dimmer switch, so less and more light. Hill descent control button uh, for speeds of 20 kilometers an hour or less. You can press that button while you're in regular drive mode and the vehicle will gently uh, hold the gear and slowly coast down a very steep hill. Traction control button, uh, never want to press that if you can help it. If you accidentally press traction control, uh, it'll say traction control disabled right there for yourself. Uh, disengaging traction control inhibits the computer's um, speed brake force adjustment and traction control systems from working properly. So you don't want to disengage it. You want to make sure that it is on at all times. Active Eco. Uh, this is a fuel regulator, uh, will inhibit uh, uh, fuel delivery to promote better fuel economy. So this is sort of your in-town uh, driving. When you press it, it's going to light up green right there. For the highway, uh, I like to drive with regular mode on. This is your heated steering wheel right here. This is 4x4 lock. Uh, so this will lock out your 4x4 system, uh, producing a 50-50 split between the front and rear tires. And you're going to see the 4x4 icon lock right there uh, when you press the button. Uh, this over here is for your house plug uh, features here. The vehicle is equipped with a house plug, um, so that is to initiate that. This button here is your blind spot monitoring button. When you press it, and it's hard to see in the video, but that will light up amber, letting you know that your uh, blind spot system is engaged. So you should be able to see it right there. Uh, blind spot monitoring system should be on at all times. Just wanna double check and make sure that that blue light is lit. So now we're gonna go over your um, light controls here. This vehicle is equipped with automatic headlights. It's a set and forget system. So once you click it into the auto position, your headlights are gonna turn on automatically at night and they're gonna shut off automatically uh, when it gets light out. This is your fog, uh, um, fog lights right in here. So when the vehicle is fully engaged, fog lights, you're gonna see the fog light icon right there and that is your full uh, bright system there. Fog lights will only turn on when the vehicle's lights are, when it's dark enough in auto or when you're here. Now just going over here, these are volume controls for the sound system. Mute. The mode button is going to cycle through different uh, music functions like satellite radio, CD player, uh, auxiliary ports if they're connected, AM and FM radio stations as well, okay? Uh, so that's how that works there. This is uh, seek up or preset up, preset down. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your Bluetooth by pressing the green button here. You can add a new device right here off your touch screen. You just click on add new. Then what you do is you open up your own cell phone, go to the settings screen, open up Bluetooth. You should see Hyundai Santa Fe as an option. Click on the Santa Fe option. And if the device then prompts you. On from your device in order to search on your device, select the device name that matches car name on the screen. So once your device name matches that, the passkey 000 gives it to you and you're able to hook up your Bluetooth, your phone will pair automatically. Once your phone is paired up, you're able to use the voice recognition button uh, to make phone calls. Press the VR button, voice recognition once, and then say phone to get into the phone features. And then you're able to dial number or call contact. Uh, and then you can read out the contact or dial a number. Over here on this uh, part of the instrument cluster, this is your cruise control uh, button right here. So you're gonna press cruise, cruise is engaged right there. Once you've attained the speed, hit set. If you want to go faster, click up. If you want to go slower, click down. If you want to cancel the command, click cancel. And to disengage the system, hit cruise again, and then that green light will go out. 
This button here, this is your steering uh, mode. So the Santa Fe uses an electronic rack and pinion steering system to give driver feedback. Uh, so sport mode is a stiffer feeling steering wheel. Comfort is a very, uh, just what it says, comfortable steering function. And normal is a mix of the two. So I'm going to leave it in uh, normal for now so that, uh, you know, you can, you can decide for yourself uh, how best to set that up. Down here, we have the heads-up display control functions. You've got your pages, your down arrow, and uh, enter or back. So by cycling through the down arrow, I can get from trip A, range, trip B, back to range. By pressing the feature, uh, the pages button here, I'm gonna cycle through the different display modes. So XM, compass, service in, and then user settings here. So to change user settings on the screen is very, very easy. A little bit tough to see there, but by pressing the down arrow, you're able to cycle through the different uh, modes here. And then by pressing enter, you're able to access those features. So um, that's that way that works there. And then to get back, you just hit back. And then hit the enter key. And you can adjust different things like your doors, auto door unlock, two press unlock, smart power lift gate. Make sure if you're gonna use the smart lift gate function that this little box down here is ticked in the on position or the smart tailgate won't work. So that's how you use the pages, down arrow, and enter key down here uh, to adjust stuff there. Over here, you're gonna have your um, memory settings. So position one, position two, and set, super easy to use. Over here are your window controls, one touch down, auto for passenger and driver. Mirror controls are here. Locking and window lock functions are here. Over here is your wiper. One click up will just give you one wipe. Hyundai's will click in the down position to turn on the wipers. So down uh, to go on the wipers and then your intermittent set settings are here and your rear controls are here with the twist of a knob. Moving over to some of the comfort controls uh, here, you've got cooled seats on the limited and heated seats. So right now they're full on cool. Uh, parking sensors right here can be disengaged uh, while parking uh, and especially for backing up to a trailer. Shift knob is over here, shifting into the regular blue drive mode. Uh, we'll give you a regular drive. Now clicking over into the right uh, here into the plus minus, if you can see that, plus minus there. By pushing up, I'm able to upshift. By pulling down, I'm able to downshift. And then by pushing over to the left, I'm able to get into the regular uh, drive position there gonna go over uh, the touchscreen navigation features and everything like that on a subsequent video uh, wanted to keep this nice and brief for yourself there's a lot to go over a lot of technology here uh, with the Hyundai Santa Fe XL limited this is 2015 my name is Eduardo thank you so much for watching these videos and this is the real Hyundai guys at Kelowna Hyundai have a great day